Eismark and Masremus. And the tip is won by Illinois College. The Blue Boys rocking their home whites. Knox College in the black and gold. A three right side for Price. He can't hit. Weak side, very good guard play. And size underneath with Eismark. Let's see if they bring that into play. Into the corner. Goodman dribbles it over to the right side. The big man, Eismark, handling the ball on the perimeter. Just a freshman. There was a lazy pass, almost stolen away. Jarif penetrates in the lane. Now back left side. Good head fake. Eight seconds left in the shot clock. Tough fadeaway shot, and it is hit. Well, a little bit of a change. Normally there's no fans in here, but the band has been allowed in over in the upper deck. Driving baseline price. Contact on the ground. Very impressive record at 6-2, and two, and you wonder what this team could have done had it been a full season. Well, the good news is they bring back a ton of death, and I think Illinois College will be even better next season. But it doesn't get it to Illinois College. Good start to this game. I love the pace. Goodman, he may have got away with a walk. Still got the shot up, but missed it. It's ball. In transition, here we go. Enoch passes to the free throw line. Burroughs just connected on a jumper. How about a three from Price? Back to back. No. Weak side board. Nice job there by Rock. Burroughs just connected on a jumper. How about a three from Price? Back to back. No. Weak side board. Nice job there by Rock. Burroughs just connected on a jumper. How about a three from Price? Back to back. No. Weak side board. Nice job there by Rogers to keep the possession alive. Masremus can't hit a three. Illinois College taking board. Nice job there by Rogers to keep the possession alive. Masremus can't hit a three. Illinois College taking threes like they're going out of style. Price gets the board. He drives. He's like they're going out of style. Price gets the board. He drives. He can't hit. Knox finally gets possession back in their hands. Eismark passes right wing. Driving is Jordan Rayner. I remember him from last year. A very good player. Spins. He's got a lot of length. Good. Leaner inside with the right hand layup. Can't hit. Knocked out of bounds. Less touch. Off of action. Both coaches very vocal early on. Lob underneath. Eismark throws it to the post. Good ball movement. Back underneath to the Tall guard, Jordan Rayner. He turns. He says he got fouled. The tall guard, Jordan Rayner. He turns. He says he got fouled. Official says it's a block. In transition, Illinois College leading by one. Enoch passes right side. Rogers, the lefty three. No off the front of the rim. It continues to fire up three pointers. See if I see can get another good stand. They played solid defensively. Again, Illinois College got a road win just a couple days ago at Knox. Top of the key, working the ball around, and we have an offense. Coming down the court, Illinois College. They've been quiet on the last couple possessions. Got a lot of shots up. Enoch drives, using that length, right-handed layup, and scores. He Any shot he wants. 5-2, biggest lead of the game for IC. We've got just over 17 minutes left, and an exciting first half of action. Top of the key, nice head fake. Jarif gets inside. Layup with the right hand is good. Mas Both these teams shooting at a very high percentage early on. Left side. Now to the baseline. Masremus gets a couple screens. Finds Enoch underneath. Contact. Takes the shot. Makes the shot. What a start to this game. We've got a shootout on our hands, folks. Right-handed layup, and there's the answer on the up. Jordan Rayner does it again. No crowd here, just the band and essential personnel. Behind the back dribble, Burroughs gets all the way inside. Tries to dish it in the corner, but it's stolen away. Good. Behind the back dribble, Burroughs gets all the way inside. Tries to dish it in the corner, but it's stolen away. Good defense by Wyndham. In transition, Rayner elevates his block from behind. Loose ball picked up by Knox Indum. In transition, Rayner elevates his block from behind. Loose ball picked up by Knox Indum. Fresh new lineup coming in for Illinois College. One of them is T.J. Irvin, very talented guard. They've got a sophomore at six foot, five foot six, traveling violation. I also see Jackson Dion in the game. Justin Kellogg. And Benton Singleton dribbling over the right side. Rainer, nice step back. Open two. It's a deep one. Rattles in and out. No good. Rottensmeyer. 
I see down by one with 15 and a half minutes left in the first half. Singleton working on his post-up game. Backs in. Three head fakes. Leans in for the shot. Can't hit. Tips in. Can't get the second shot to go either. Another rebound. Saves it. Throws it off the leg of Knox. And it will... Looks like a forward to me. Still 8-7. to seven. Pass left side. Hotzmeyer fakes the three. Into the corner. Jackson Dion looking to back in. No, he comes around a screen. Fades away with eight seconds left in the shot clock. Dion can't hit the tray, but another rebound. He comes around a screen. Fades away with eight seconds left in the shot clock. Dion can't hit the tray, but another rebound. He comes around a screen. Fades away with eight seconds left in the shot clock. Dion can't hit the tray, but another rebound by Singleton. He's picked up three on this possession alone. Ottensmeyer throws to the post. Singleton has to come out to get it. Dangerous pass, tipped around. That's Kellogg with it. He'll dish it in the corner. Shot clock winding down. It's got to be a shot from Ottensmeyer. Floater with the right hand, no good. Got his own rebound. Another rebound. Another. He goes up again and scores. What a clock winding down. It's got to be a shot from Ottensmeyer. Floater with the right hand, no good. Got his own rebound. Another rebound. Another. He goes up again and scores. What a clock winding down. It's got to be a shot from Ottensmeyer. Floater with the right hand, no good. Got his own rebound. Another rebound. Another. He goes up again and scores. What a only a couple seniors will be graduating after today for IC, so technically this is senior day. Haven't seen much of Jarif for Knox College as he passes off. Tough shot inside, right-handed floater is hit by Junior of Knox. Lead goes back to Knox, 10-9. to nine. Driving, nice move. Kellogg, right-handed finger roll, reverse layup, can't hit. Irvin goes after the board and he's pushed to the ground. That'll be a foul. Driving, nice move. Kellogg, right-handed finger roll, reverse layup, can't hit. Irvin goes after the board and he's pushed to the ground. That'll be a foul. So he'll get a seat. Irvin inbounds. Gets it back into the corner. Set play. They're trying to get the ball to Dion. Good ball movement for IC. They've taken a ton of shots because of their offensive rebounding. Shot clock winding down again. A lot of long possessions for IC. To the post. Singleton. Irvin's going to have to take a deep three. It's on the way. Off the front of the rim twice. No. Rebound for Knox. They move in transition. That's Isaiah Lockett has come in the game for Knox after that timeout. Jarif dribbles behind his back. Back right side to Goodman. Goodman, a lot of guards on the play right now. Nice crossover, right-handed layup. Crump can't score. Offensive rebound put up, and McMenamin. Now, nice crossover, right-handed layup. Crump can't score. Offensive rebound put up, and McMenamin. A six-foot-six freshman center. That's two freshmen that they've got at six-foot-five and six-foot-six. Very imposing. Just over 13 minutes left in the first half. I see trails by three and a traveling violation. Leading scorer is Elijah Crump for Knox. He's got four. Screen to the right. Now at the free throw line. Flipped into the corner. Now a three. It's missed by Jarif. Slow oh, this tempo down. Well, normally Illinois College shooting very early in the shot clock, but now you're starting to see some freshmen with size. Cade Windham, six foot seven, freshman forward. Masrimas sets the screen for Enoch to try and get a matchup they like. Masrimas, a lot smaller than the man he's defended by. Turning, shooting, and scoring underneath is Hunter. He says, my defender's too small, and I'm going to take him in. I see down by one, 12-11. Rayner, a three with a hand in his face. He can't hit. Rebound for Rayner, a three with a hand in his face. He can't hit. Rebound for Rodgers. He wants to push the tempo. That's what he does best. Crosses over, gets in the lane, left-handed layup, short, went for his own rebound, but it was knocked away. It's in the lane, left-handed layup, short, went for his own rebound, but it was knocked away. Knox gets it back in their hands. Goodman dribbles to the right side, finds a man underneath. It's bobbled momentarily by Lockett. He gets it back, takes the shot, and it's foul. In a battle in the first half. The righty Lockett takes his first free throw and makes it. 66-47. Big win for Illinois College. Missing the second free throw and a read for Knox. Illinois College easily leading the rebounding category. No question about that. Layup underneath. Enoch scores again. AC shooting roughly 30% from the field. They've taken 17 shots. Offensive rebounds. They've got seven. Seven offensive rebounds. Hasn't had an opportunity to play. Just one game on their schedule this season. 
And this is number two. Burroughs looking to drive. Three-pointer, another with a hand in his face, and he is on. Illinois College has taken the lead. 16-13 with 11 minutes left in the first half. Nowhere to go. Coming out to get it is Brown. He'll work around two screens. Look at this defense for Illinois College. Driving, elevating, laying. What a move. Price has come back in, and Illinois College going deep into their bench in the first half, trying to stay fresh. Enoch jump pass in the corner to Maz Remus. As Remus, normally the team's leading scorer and rebounder, hasn't been looked too early. That's a dangerous pass by Price. He throws it away. Rebounder hasn't been looked too early. That's a dangerous pass by Price. He throws it away. Steal by Goodman. He's going to go coast to coast. Left-handed layup. What a move is he? Ten minutes of the game. Leading scores. Trey Burrows is at a couple threes. Free throw is good. Was good. Hansmeyer has four. And Enoch with six. Only three players registering points so far in this third first half. IC breaks the full court pressure. Price in the corner to Maz Remus. Good ball movement from IC. Right side, open three. Don't leave that man open. It's Burroughs. He is Burroughs having a huge start to this one. IC retakes the lead, 19-18. Ten minutes left. In the first half, backing in. I like this matchup for uh, Rayner. He turns, tough contested shot, and misses. It's out of bounds. Rayner in IC history. He's been that good. Just a sophomore. Rogers passes. Top of the key. Faking the three is Ottensmeyer. Price, he can't hang on to the pass. Back to Burroughs. Burroughs trying to break his defender down against the much taller defender and still scores. He won 18. IC's lead extends to three. Into the corner, Rayner. Nice crossover. Gets in the lane. He is so quick. Up with another shot. Misses. Tipped by Crump. No good. And it's ice. Crossover. Gets in the lane. He is so quick. Up with another shot. Misses. Tipped by Crump. No good. And it's ice. Lane. He is so quick. Up with another shot. Misses. Tipped by Crump. No good. And it's Icy's ball. They've got numbers as Rayner fell to the ground. Dion moving in transition. Burrows faking a three. He was looking for his fourth. He'll step back from the free throw line. Up the front of the rim. He's hitting every team. A five point lead for IC with nine minutes left in a quick moving first half. Crump needs some help. Goes back to Rainer. They're just playing a two man game. Three. Rainer. He's off the mark. And looking over his point guard. And Burrows is moving to the two guard. They're going to try to set up some plays for him considering he's got the hot touch. Passes it left side. Burroughs gets it. Rogers comes around two screens. The lefty point guard. Eight seconds left in the shot clock. Ottensmeyers goes to work. Tough fadeaway. Just inside the free throw line. He hits. Just a moment ago, they were under 30% shooting. Now, close to 50% from the field. What a run from IC. 25-18. Knox is in trouble. Coming up to get it is Goodman. Goodman has had a couple impressive plays. Maybe that's another? No. Misses a short shot inside. Rebound for Price. Beginning to find their rhythm. Eight minutes left in the first half. Haven't seen many whistles. Just six total fouls. Look out from behind. There's a foul. I called it. College now. Burroughs needs more shots. He hasn't missed yet. He'll work the screen to his right. Now a one-on-one. He'll work against the slower Jarif. Back to Ottensmeyer. Coming around the screen is Kellogg. Falls to the ground and travels. Two officials were right on top. Goodman fakes the three. Trying to get another player going. They've only had a couple highlight plays so far. A lot of missed shots for Knox. Nice pick and roll underneath. Layup blocked away by Mass Remus. Knox, nice pick and roll underneath. Layup blocked away by Mass Remus. Good D from the sophomore center. Kicked out of bounds by the of Illinois Collins. They've got plenty of baseball and softball. Track on the way. Good times at Illinois College despite what's going on around the world. Burroughs lost the ball. Good steal by the big name eyes. Burroughs lost the ball. Good steal by the big name eyes. Eismark. Good crossover. He's in the lane. Can he go coast to coast? No, he is fast. Brooks. First free throw is good. Irvin. Second one. Good. Got them both. Exciting first half of action from the campus of Illinois College. I'm Ryan Turk bringing you the action. Enoch will fake the three. Gets it back to Irvin. 
As Remus wants the ball down low. Now he'll come out of the perimeter to get it. He's got the shot from out there. We'll see if he gets another look. Down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. There he is. Takes the triple. It's good. He can make it. The star of the game has been Burroughs. Screen to the left. Another screen coming up to get it is Goodman. Goodman can't find an opening. Three on the way for Knox. They can't hit. Offensive rebound picked up by Jarit. Can't find an opening. Three on the way for Knox. They can't hit. Offensive rebound picked up by Jarit. Can't find an opening. Three on the way for Knox. They can't hit. Offensive rebound picked up by Jarit. Another opportunity for them. Two screens. Goodman gets it in the corner. That's Cade Wyndham, the big freshman underneath. Knocked around twice and in the corner. That's Cade Wyndham, the big freshman underneath. Knocked around twice and it's a steal by Enoch. Irvin's got his head up. Had Mazrimas deep. Still has him. No look dish underneath. Layup right hand is good. Bob from Illinois College. It's a 10 point lead. I see was all over Knox just a couple hours ago. They beat them yesterday. Jarif looking to drive. Again, this is just the second game of the season for Knox. Tough three on the way. That's no good from Goodman. And a quick rebound by Maz. Possession by Knox. Well, they had the lead early, but since then it's been all I see. Mazrimas looking for a second three. And back to action. Knox needs a bucket in the worst way. They're down by 13. And a foul by Irvin underneath. Got off those three guys to create offense. Pass off to Rayner. He wants to shoot. Guarded by Kellogg. Driving baseline. Jarif. They double team on him. Leaves Rayner open. Can't do that. He's short on the three. Right-handed rebound. They double team on him. Leaves Rayner open. Can't do that. He's short on the three. Right-handed rebound by Maz Remus. Illinois College. Can they continue to cruise? That's Irvin. Lobs left side. Overhands and out of bounds. Five minutes left in the first half. Bounce pass. Jarif. They want to go down low. A rare touch by Eismark. He's double teamed. Irvin realizes that. Back to Crump. He tries to break down his defender. Can't get past Mazrimus. Now we'll get inside. Tough shot and a foul. A and William McMenamin for Knox. Free throw is good. Most of Knox's offense has come from creating turnovers. They've got eight points compared to Illinois. Both free throws fall. That stops the bleeding for Knox as it was a heck of a run from IC. At the free throw line, Singleton fakes a couple passes. Gets it back to Irvin. Screen for him. Step back three. No, he gives it up to Enoch. Good ball movement. Ottensmeyer wants it down low. Instead, it's a three by Enoch. He rarely takes it, but he's only two all IC in the first half. It's Rayner on the attack. He has been all the offense here. Couple screens. Floater with the right hand. Brooks can't hit. Tapped around. Got his own rebound. Draws the foul. Couple screens. Floater with the right hand. Brooks can't hit. Tapped around. Got his own rebound. Draws the foul. He is 0 of 1 from the field. Now 0 of 1 from the line. Four for Rayner. Two apiece for Jarif, McMiniman, and Eismark. Second free throw falls. As they're shooting 56%. Burroughs will work ISO. He'll pass over on the left side to Singleton. Less than four minutes left. Burroughs will fake the three. He hasn't missed a shot. Hansmeyer will try. Bounce pass over to Singleton. Now to Kellogg. Everyone touching it here for IC. Burroughs, a three. Can he do it again? Yes, sir. See, their biggest of the game. Top of the key, holding the ball is Crump. Look fine underneath. That's a nice dish to Crump. Give the assist. Brooks trying to lock down Burroughs, something no one has done so far. And a reach in by Crump. So Illinois College at 6-2. and two. You'd have to call it an impressive year for them, but it's an abbreviated year. You want more. You want to see what they could have done in the Midwest Conference. Ball is loose and a turn up more. You want to see what they could have done in the Midwest Conference. Ball is loose and a turnover on Enoch. He lost it. Jarif dribbles it over to the left side. Now he wants to penetrate. Jumps in the air as he passes it off to Rayner. Rayner working the baseline. And it's a chuck. Six, Ottensmeyer and Mazrimus. And two points for Justin Kellogg. Ottensmeyer took a long look at that three. Instead, he wants to drive. Floater with the right hand. Good. Ottensmeyer. I think he's rocking a pretty sick mustache, too. I think he is. 41-25.
That might be the new look for him. Just over two minutes left in the first half. Couple screens. They're trying to get the big man underneath. Cade Windham a look, but he just can't get to the ball. Now he does. Lob underneath and a push off. Offensive foul. Sungman Jin played his high school ball over in Stevenson. And for you Stevenson fans out there, you know Jalen Brunson. That's where he went to college. Former collegiate player of the year. Played at Villanova. And now a reserve for the Dallas Mavericks. 90 seconds left. Oh, driving. Trey Rogers, the third, has come in and up on the ground. Free throw. Burrows hits it again. Oh. His first miss comes at the... So what do we see for the final 90 seconds from Illinois College? Good pass, top of the key, open three, coming up. Wyndham, he can't hit. Now the off able to consistently hit shots. For Knox, they've had some cold streaks, and that's cost them. They don't watch it. They're going to get out of this game really quick. Trey Rogers, the third, he's double teamed. Enoch will penetrate. Back to Rogers, and that's a charge. Yeah, Enoch was... Well, Rayner has been the shooter, but hasn't been able to find that rhythm he wants. Good ball movement. Oh, a head fake and a beauty by Wyndham, but he misses the open three. Batted out and rebounded. Eight of a minute left in Illinois College in cruise control. Up 17 on Knox. Robinson sets a screen and rolls to the basket. Pass into the corner to Burroughs. Burroughs gets a screen for Ottensmeyer. Burroughs wants to work the ball to the free throw line. Rogers an open three. It's up. It rolls around and no good. Jen free throw line. Rogers an open three. It's up. It rolls around and no good. Jen gets the rebound with 35 seconds left. They can go two for one if they get a quick shot up. That's exactly what they do. Short jump off as it was dead on with the play clock. 15 seconds left. Any foul would result in the bonus. Ten seconds. Burrow, he's been the man so far. Passes in the corner. Rogers back to Burrows. Six seconds left. Ottensmeyer, head fake. Step back three at the buzzer. Oh, off the mark. But Illinois College takes a fifth. Back into the second half. Here we go. Illinois College leading 20, excuse me, 42-27. Very one-sided first half as they dominated pretty much every much every statistic. Let's see what Knox does coming out here in the second half. Rayner elevates right-handed layup, scores. College shot 54% from the field, 47% from deep. They went one of two from the line, committed just nine turnovers. Had 22 rebounds. Another three. Burroughs. Can he do it again? Oh, my goodness. 29 lead. He's got a game high 17 points on seven. Excuse me. Now 20 points on seven of seven shooting. Three-pointer is up and rolls up the front of the rim. And Cade Windham. So both teams coming out hot to start this second half. But overall, Knox really struggled shooting the ball. They shot just 38%. They did shoot well from the line. Seven of nine. Only one of nine from downtown. That really hurt him. And they've only grabbed 12 rebounds. So IC has 10 more boards in that first half. Mazrimas, a step back three. Glances off the side of the rim, no. 10 more boards in that first half. Mazrimas, a step back three. Glances off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound underneath by Jarif. He's trying to go coast to coast, and he is blocked away. Rebound underneath by Jarif. He's trying to go coast to coast, and he is blocked away. Good defense by Illinois College. In transition, they've got numbers. Rodgers flips it over to Price, the senior. Back to Burroughs. Good ball movement over to Rodgers. He's going to go ISO. Three on the way. Good. Way. Good. The lefty bangs it home. Two minutes into the second half, Illinois College continuing to dominate. 48-32. Another three is up, and that's back-to-back. Back. Way back into this game, now down 48-35. Flipped over left side. This has been the best run of the game for Knox. They've scored in their first three possessions. Rogers fakes the three. He'll try to drive. Nothing there. Lobs it over to Mazrimas. You want the ball in the hands of Troy Burrows. No question. 
Eight seconds left in the shot clock. He's going to dribble through the legs. Pass off to Rogers. Catch and shoot three. Misses. Mazarin is trying to bat it out, and it's an offensive rebound for Kellogg. Legs. Pass off to Rogers. Catch and shoot three. Misses. Mazarin is trying to bat it out, and it's an offensive rebound for Kellogg. Legs. Pass off to Rogers. Catch and shoot three. Misses. Mazarin is trying to bat it out, and it's an offensive rebound for Kellogg. Nice drive. Mazarin hangs in the air. Finishes and right now. Hottensmeyer comes back in. Three-point play is good. Play is good. All Illinois College in this matchup. They're looking to end the season on a nice little winning streak. Another three. That one finally a miss by Wyndham. Offensive rebound. It's picked up by Goodman, and he scores in the foul. On a nice little winning streak. Another three. That one finally a miss by Wyndham. Offensive rebound. It's picked up by Goodman, and he scores in the foul. As the line, knocks. Shot pretty well again. Seven of nine. It's the free throw. These teams have shot in the second half. It's anybody's game still. Hottensmeyer catches over on the left wing. Couple screens underneath. Kellogg was wide open, but Hottensmeyer didn't see him. Dion gets the ball back up to Mazremus. He's got a little space. Back to Burroughs. Burroughs gets around a screen. Backdoor cut. Mazremus. Hello! Jam! Jam City! 53-38, an emphatic dunk by Mazremus. On the other end, Rainer elevates and he scores. That's how you answer from the court. Burroughs gets the ball back in his hands. He's over there on an island. I'd get him the ball right back. Hansmeyer pushes in the corner. Kellogg looking for his fifth point. No, he can't hit the three. Offensive board, ball goes right back to Kellogg. Pushes in the corner. Kellogg looking for his fifth point. No, he can't hit the three. Offensive board, ball goes right back to Kellogg. Pushes in the corner. Kellogg looking for his fifth point. No, he can't hit the three. Offensive board, ball goes right back to Kellogg. He's tripped up. And a foul. Illinois College has been to the line in this second half. This will be their fourth overall free throw. Rattles out, no good. Press play. Kellogg's free throw, good. See, and they extend their lead, 54-40. A lot of time left, 16 minutes. Rainer, nice between the legs dribble, but Dion right there to defend. Backing in and a foul as Brooks got a lot of the on the official as Brooks will take two shots. I don't even think he was in position to shoot. Free throw is missed short. In from Enoch, who's... Still on the bench. He was dinged up a little bit, but he looks better now. Both free throws missed and dinged up a little bit, but he looks better now. Both free throws missed and Mazarin was pulling down the rebound. And you hear a very vocal Illinois College bench supporting their squad. Irvin dribbling into the corner to Kellogg. Kellogg, good ball movement left side to Dion. To the post. Ottensmeyer will go one on one. He'll back in. Draw a double team. Kick it back out to Dion. In the corner, Maz Remus. He flips it over to Dion. Top of the key. Three. Good. Up from deep. They are now 10 of 21. 48% from deep. You got to love that percentage. Driving. That's off of. Close. Lob to Rayner. He catches it at the free throw line. Gets a quick screen to his right. Might pull up. Tries to drive and contact. Both, it's hard to defend him on an ISO. Wyndham is at a good second half. Nice play, reverse layup, good by, reverse layup, good by Dion. excuse me, good by Rayner as Dion couldn't catch up to him. Full court pressure coming out. Irvin, jump pass is tipped. 15 point lead for IC. No need to panic, you got this game in your back pocket, just keep playing your game. Hontensmeyer, pushes left side. I'd like to get him back the ball, I like his matchup. Irvin gets in the lane, contact on the ground, and Mazarimas with 11 points. He sets a screen. That ball is kicked out of bounds, and it will stay with Illinois. Our focus into softball and baseball, which still has plenty of games left. Into the corner. Dion. He looks for a screen. He gets it. Pick and roll. Mazarimas doesn't use the pass. He uses the left-handed layup. Mazarimas to benefit himself. 59-42, back to a 17-point lead. This is the biggest of the game. We're tied for the biggest lead. Jarif, step back jumper. Might be his first shot of the game. Missed. Mazrim is both the biggest lead. Jarif, step back jumper. Might be his first shot of the game. Missed. Mazrim is bored. Here comes I see alley oop. Enoch elevates. Can't get the tip in to go. It's stepping out of bounds was Knox. Your mask. 
Inbound for Irvin. He will throw it up high to half court. Ottensmeyer catches. Pass to Enoch into the corner. Fresh shot clock here. Into the corner. Open three. Masremus. He's been feeling it. Can't hit though. Into the corner. Open three. Masremus. He's been feeling it. Can't hit though. Jarif's the board for Knox. They need a lot of points. Another three, and that one's no good. Wyndham, a lot of points. Another three, and that one's no good. Wyndham couldn't hit. He's had the hot hand in this second half. Irvin in transition to Oddsmeyer. His three's up. It's short. And now we're seeing some poor shooting from both teams. Transition to Oddsmeyer. His three's up. It's short. And now we're seeing some poor shooting from both teams. Back and forth, a lot of threes. Irvin had the steal, goes through his hands and out of bounds. Back into the action. I see with a com- comfortable lead, but the game not over yet. A little under 14 minutes left. Knox trying to fight back, 59-42. Wyndham, double team, good defense by Singleton. Back over to Goodman. A contested three is up and short, and it's still loose. Nice hustle there, Singleton. Back over to Goodman. A contested three is up and short, and it's still loose. Nice hustle there, Singleton. Back over to Goodman. A contested three is up and short, and it's still loose. Nice hustle there from Goodman to keep the ball alive. Knox has it. That ball is blocked again. It's loose, and Singleton has the rebound. Knox has it. That ball is blocked again. It's loose and Singleton has the rebound. I see with numbers. Dion pass to Kellogg. No look dish to Masremus. Tiptoes the line and it's a turnover. Pass to Kellogg. No look dish to Masremus. Tiptoes the line and it's a turnover. Here comes Crump going coast to coast, but he's fouled on the ground. Game of the season for Illinois College men's basketball. Andre Enoch, Stephen Price will both graduate. Everybody else for IC comes back, and you got to love that. Into the post, turning, Crump, shooting with a baby hook. It's no good. Into the corner, Masremus gives it right back to Rogers. Good ball movement. Burroughs has yet to miss a shot from the field. Driving, Dion. His pass is deflected over to Burroughs. He'll take another three. Looks good, but it's short. Broadcaster Jinx on that one. Passes deflected over to Burroughs. He'll take another three. Looks good, but it's short. Broadcaster Jinx on that one. My bad, Burroughs. Knox hands the ball off. That's a travel. Good call there. As Crump. The difference in this game is the three-point shooting. 10 of 24 from IC. That's good for 42%. Knox just 2 of 12. Three-pointers are worth more than two-pointers. Driving, Ottensmeyer, he's contacted on the green to you throughout the school year. Really looking forward to dabbling in the softball and baseball game. Three-pointer, that's up and in from, that's up and in from Dion. Heads up, Illinois College likes to shoot threes, and they're very good at it. That's no good on the three-pointer. What a box out, box well have. Twelve minutes left. Pass left side, driving, Ottensmeyer, contested, reverse, layup, oh, just misses, and over the back against Rodgers. Going on there from Illinois College, I was trying to hear what they were saying, they couldn't make it out. Twelve minutes left. Thomas passes off to Goodman. Goodman will get a screen to his left, tries a pick and roll, that's nothing there. McMenamin was not ready to catch the pass. Back to Thomas. Now Brown underneath McMenamin fighting to the basket and scores. That's a lot of size for B4. I see still. They got a comfortable lead. They've had a comfortable lead for a long time. They went on a big run in the first half and they've had about a 10 plus lead since. Dion dribbles through his legs. Back to Singleton. You know, Burroughs has to be considered your scorer out there, but really everyone has a touch from beyond the arc. Burroughs, hesitation move. Back to Dion. He just buried a three from there. Oh, it's deja vu. We cruise control. Illinois College looking for the clean sleep, sleep sweep over the weekend against Knox. Crump dribbles over to the left side. Solid Illinois College defense tonight. Stepping into a jumper is Brown. That's well off. Solid Illinois College defense tonight. Stepping into a jumper is Brown. That's well off. And a rebound by Rogers. Can Illinois College pad their lead? Rodgers is open. Nice hesitation move. Gets inside. Dribbles through the legs. Step back. No good. 
Goodman gets the ball. Nice hesitation move. Gets inside. Dribbles through the legs. Step back. No good. Goodman gets the board for Knox. He's got his eyes up. Looking to make a play. He may have pushed off. And there's a lot of contact underneath. And if he'll go to the line for two. The righty. Does not hit the first free throw. Goodman. Got the second to fall. Here comes the press from Knox, and Price is in a whole bunch of trouble, and he calls a timeout. Here we go. Ten minutes left. The Illinois College, you look at what this team was when Steve Schweer got here a couple years ago as Irvin's three is short. It's rebounded by Price. Illinois College getting a Steve Schweer got here a couple years ago as Irvin's three is short. It's rebounded by Price. Illinois College getting a Steve Schweer got here a couple years ago as Irvin's three is short. It's rebounded by Price. Illinois College getting another look. He's been with the program for a couple years. This will be his third season. And this team has really morphed into his vision. Another three. That one's short from Kellogg. And I was really morphed into his vision. Another three. That one's short from Kellogg. And I think he's found the pieces now that he can build around. In transition, knocks a couple wild passes to Goodman. Goodman and a travel against Knox. Another turnover for them. To make a run in the Midwest Conference. And I think if they had a full season playing against teams in the conference, they would have been towards the top. Double team, and Irvin is fouled. Has something special. Irvin flashing over. He's played a lot of minutes off the bench today. Illinois College looking to kill some time here. Pass to Price on the right wing. Pick and roll with Irvin. Rogers back up top to Mazrimus. He'll penetrate, looking for a charge, and he recognized it. And Mazrimus has had a very quiet game by his standards, but... Still a solid performance from him. 13 points on 5 of 8 shooting and 6 boards. And he'll come back next season. 9 minutes left. Driving out of control. Tough shot though. Off the glass though. Off the glass falls for Wyndham who's been the offensive creator for Knox. Wyndham has exploded for 8 points all coming in this second half. Full court press. Leonard College easily blows past that. Into the corner. Kellogg will fake the three. And I like this move from Illinois College. They played very well up tempo late in the first half, but now really slowing the game down. Rogers, a tough runner in the lane. Offensive rebound late in the first half, but now really slowing the game down. Rogers, a tough runner in the lane. Offensive rebound. Kellogg scores! And the free throw is on the way. Short, but gets the home court roll. Court roll. Having a good time in Illinois College, and you gotta love the scoreboard if you're a Blue Boy fan. 70-47. All I see. Driving. Jarif draws a foul. Free throw is good for Jarif. Plays with one of the officials. Get you some scores from around college hoops. There's a lot of games we got our eye on today. Is missed. Three-pointer, left wing, Dion. That's a tough look. Forced it, tried to bank. Three-pointer, left wing, Dion. That's a tough look. Forced it, tried to bank it in and couldn't fall. Here we go. Driving in. Jarif out of control. Lost it, and that was last touch by Knox. That's a turn. That for the Big Ten title, and you got to think if Illinois College comes away with a win there, no question they will get one of the top seeds in college basketball's March Madness. Inside, eight minutes left. Other games, it's Alabama leading 80-79 over LSU, and that game has officially been leading 80-79 over LSU, and that game has officially become a final. Missed shot from Illinois College in transition. Rainer layup good. Still, still a lot of game left. It's a 20-point lead for IC. Houston is up 41-27 on Cincinnati at halftime. I see struggling against this full court pressure. That ball is deflected. Burroughs can chase after it. And a 10-second count. College has been the better one so far. Shooting 49%. 
from deep. They're at 41% on 12 of 29 shooting. Tough shot from Rainer underneath. He can't score. Maz Remus collects 29 shooting. Tough shot from Rainer underneath. He can't score. Maz Remus collects another rebound. From the line, I see shooting 67% on just four of six shooting. Normally they shoot a lot more free throws. Committed 11 turnovers. Grabbed 37 rebounds. And when you compare that to what Knox has done, his nice weak side pass going up for the right-handed layup and scores. Knox shooting just 39%. They've only attempted 13 three-pointers and hit two of them. That's a 13% clip. Goodman drives, contact underneath, and it's an offensive foul as he rebounds. So I see has out-rebounded Knox by 14. A lot of those coming on the offensive side. 12 offensive boards compared to 7 of Knox. That ball thrown away, and it should be Knox ball. 6-2 and two on the season. They lost at Dominican the first game of the season, 88-85, a game I believe Illinois College should have won. Jarif drives, right-handed layup. That's a goaltending. It went Fompon, 81-75. Fompon again, 83-75. Eureka, 76-68. Then lost at Aurora, 181, beat Cornell, 67-65, and recently toppled Knox, 66-47. So really some big blowout wins for IC, and their only losses, a three-point loss to Dominican, and Aurora, they lost by 19. Missed shot from Illinois, point loss to Dominican, and Aurora, they lost by 19. Missed shot from Illinois College, Rayner gets the rebound, we're inside six minutes left. Haven't seen much uh, shooting-wise from the big man, but a good drive by Eismark. He'll pass in the corner. The three is connected. The three is connected. That's Jarif. Lead is 19 now for IC. See if they can hang on. They should. Burrows dribbling in the corner. He lost it and had to. Oh, he doesn't get the call. He, eh, just a little hot head down there and from both sides, and now everybody's cool. Now we can play some basketball. Sometimes you just need to ask for a description of the rules. Foul against Irvin, and he Burroughs will come back in. Free throw on the one and one. First one's hit by Jarif. One more for Jarif. Hits them both. And it's what a performance by Troy Burroughs. Connected on his first seven shots. He's hit 20. He's got 20 points, which is a game high. Behind him, 13 for Masrimus, 8 for Kellogg, and here comes Ottensmeyer. He scores again just with 10 points. DeAndre Enoch on senior night with 9. Final 5 minutes left. Does Knox have a big push left in them? 3-pointer, that's short by Jarif, and it's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Nod Games. It's hard to find a rhythm when you have that many dead balls. Burroughs has come back in. He'll pass against this full court pressure. Dion jump pass in the corner to Maz Remus. And now IC can run their offense. They just need to kill some clock and go home this season with a big win. So a win would make that 1-2-3 straight to finish the season. An overall record of 7-2. and two. Maz Remus spinning. Baby hook. It's good. He can. 76-55. Goodman working the ball around. Windows really had a good half. Scored eight points. Step back jumper that's blocked away by Rogers. Got free throw up, and it's good. One more to go. It's good. It's good. Senior day to here today at Illinois College again. DeAndre Enoch and Price. The two lone seniors to graduate. High pass. Rodgers, can he save it? No, he cannot. They're not too happy with his team at the moment. But he's got to be happy with the scoreboard. 76-57. Left side to Goodman. Nice lob underneath. Quick ball movement. A three from Jarif. He got hammered on the shot. And Bur So Jarif will take not one, not two, but three free throws. He misses the first. The amount of free throws being shot. That's the 22nd free throw from Knox. Illinois College has only shot six. That's a second one. Golden Sombrero will save that for Illinois College baseball. Second one is missed. Third one is missed. Third one is down. 
76-58. Inside, four minutes left. Closing this one out. Good to see the band here. They're up in the upper deck. Safely away from the players. Really impressed with what Illinois College has been able to pull off this year as a short jumper is hit by Maz Remus. Conference just said, hey, we're not going to do anything this year. We're calling it. Well, Illinois College said we're at least going to try. So they played a ton of non-conference games on the road, at home, didn't really have any issues and pulled off a successful season. Step back three, Rainer, that's a tough one. It's short. As that is his ninth rebound according to our totals. Masrimus fakes the three. Back off to Dion. Now in the corner. Backing in Masrimus. He's got the size. Dion loves that three. It's short. Jarif the rebound. He's got the size. Dion loves that three. It's short. Jarif the rebound. Pushing in transition. Rainer. He'll cross over. Get inside. Nice find. Lay up up and it is. Lay up up and it is good. Windham, two more points for him. He's got 10 points all coming in the second half. Two and a half minutes left, an 18-point lead, and a push by Windham. Free throw is good. Second free throw, hit. 80-60. In the last matchup between these guys yesterday, it was a 66-47 win, so 19-point win. Illinois College has a chance to do a little better. Rainer, great crossover. Right-handed layup scores. He is electric. He is electric off the dribble. Running out of time. Full court pressure. Burroughs is able to get across half court. Nice job by Burroughs. He did most of that on his own. Rogers dribbling over into the corner. Dion. Recognizes the clock. Nine seconds left. Looks like Irvin and Enoch will both come in. Faking the shot. Passing over left side. Rogers three. It's short. Had his own rebound. Knocked around. And baseball. They'll play on the 17th. The double header against Edgewood College. That's here at home. Three-pointer, it's short from Price. He was looking for that deep one for the coming weeks. Speaking of Knox, they'll be home against Knox on April 3rd. That's a Saturday. Doubleheader for them. At Monmouth on April 10th for a doubleheader. Here at home against Grinnell. Get games in. Still a ton of games left in the schedule for IC as they've already played 10. They're 1-9 on the young season. And... College has done a fantastic job, very safe. Few fans are in attendance. They're outside in a safe viewing area. Driving baseline, Maz Remus. He flips it over to Rogers. Fakes the three. Looking to drive. That's his favorite. Cross court look to Irvin. Three for Irvin. It's short. One handed rebound, Maz Remus. He flips it out to Dion. Look to Irvin. Three for Irvin. It's short. One handed rebound, Maz Remus. He flips it out to Dion. Look to Irvin. Three for Irvin. It's short. One handed rebound, Maz Remus. He flips it out to Dion. The possession continues for IC. Final 50 seconds. Able to get the band in here. We've had several of the dancers and cheerleaders come in to perform and Everyone has been safe and just happy to have basketball here at Illinois College. Dion a three, he can't hit. And a rebound to have basketball here at Illinois College. Dion a three, he can't hit. And a rebound for Knox. Final 35 seconds. Slight differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Three-pointer, that's a splash in there. That's a splash in the corner. Nice three from Isaiah Lockett. I see, we'll look to run out the clock. Shot clock is down to zero. It's been turned off. Big win for Illinois College. They finished the year on a three-game winning streak. 80-65 to 65 should be the final score. Thanks for joining us for this Illinois College sports production. We will give you a quick update of some of the top scores. Troy Burroughs, 20 points. Jake